um, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, they've been open about their struggles with depression. Now, one of the therapies, apparently, that they say has worked is something called emotional freedom. So for more on how it works, we have Cindy Dale, author and master energy healer. So first, I'll, I'll need to ask you, what is it? Well, hi, Melissa. Good morning. And it's a really uh, successful technique for treating all kinds of trauma and pain. Basically, it's like acupuncture without needles. So it's also called tapping. And so you're tapping on different acupuncture points to release negative energy and bring in positive energy. And it's quite simple to do. And is this something that um, requires like you know, I imagine one time wouldn't be enough. It's something that you would do after a while. But do you need to also bring up, you know, these are the things that I'm dealing with so that way the person knows what part of the body to focus on? It's helpful to know what the issue is that you want to clear. So when I'm going to be doing EFT, that's what we call it for myself, I usually think about a negative issue. And, you know, we've got lists of those, right? So, you know, financial challenges or stress from the past or dealing with a relative or whatever it is. And then you proceed to tap very specific points in the top part of your body that releases the negative energy, but you're also saying something positive yourself. You're saying, you know, I'm deeply and committed to accepting myself. So the idea is to get out the old and bring in the new. And that's something, I, I mean, regardless of how you do it, that, that's important for your mental health and your emotional well-being is kind of acknowledging what the issues are and be willing to let go of them, I imagine. Well, I think as soon as you label something, you're over the watershed. So once you can say, you know, I'm really not comfortable with my level of drinking or I feel really lonely or this or that or the other thing, there's something kind of magic in the body, the way the brain works. Sometimes it's called the placebo effect, which just means that the brain can master what's happening in the rest of the body. When you label it, honestly, I think you're 60% done, you know, kind of with dealing with it and then you can start to improve matters. Now, who would you say this is best for? Who's a good candidate? Anyone. <laughs> Absolutely everybody. You can Google emotional freedom therapy or EFT tapping on the internet. It will show you those nine points. They're super easy to do. Sometimes I do it in public. People think I look kind of crazy. Um, but if you don't care what you look like, you can do it anywhere that you are. But uh, does the relationship, though, help, you know, in voicing your concerns, voicing your trauma? I think it can. So sometimes I actually do this when I'm on the phone, say with a friend and I need some support. I'll be saying to them, this is what I'm dealing with. This is what I would like in exchange. And you know, what's beautiful about the Duke and Duchess talking about this is they're also speaking to trauma that we inherit. We have at least 14 generations of our ancestors' memories in our, it's called the epigenome, in this chemical soup in the body. So sometimes we don't even know why we're reacting. We just have have a trigger. So as long as we're aware of an uncomfortability, you can do this tapping, voice what's happening, and get yourself on top of your own life. And I notice that you're an author too. If someone wanted to learn more or read more, where should they start? I have like 27 books. I have way too many books. <laughs> you know, my newest one is Energy Healing for Trauma, Stress, and Chronic Illness. And I would start there because coming out of this pandemic, are we out of it? You know, people are really looking to shift what's inside so they can get to a new reality the way they want to define a new reality. I like the name of it, Emotional Freedom. So no matter how you do it, dealing It'll with work. the things that are upsetting you, it's got to be a it's good thing. Hold the positive intention. I don't even worry if I get all those nine points right. I honestly don't. You can just tap the top of your head and you know, kind of repeat what you want to clear and put something positive in its place and uh, it'll, it'll work for you. All right, Cindy Dale, thank you. Appreciate the time. Thanks for answering our questions and kind of breaking it down. Thank you.